how's the sound level? Guaranteed, it will change. Ain't gonna stay static. <laughs> and love changes. That that's the two lyrical lines. Life changes, love changes. I was being kind of minimalist in my chorus there. I I didn't want to say very much, <laughs> but I wanted to say everything in one song. Maybe I could ask you, what do you think this song is about? Wow, that, that's a tough question. It's a bit like, um, what's this song all about? It's like, you know, um, to someone who didn't write it. <laughs> is it possible to get a, a knowledgeable and sensible answer from me? It's a bit like asking um, Don Rumsfeld, what happened to that $2.3 trillion that went missing from the Pentagon? He doesn't know. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, what is this song all about? Life changes, I guess. Could be about anything. Everything's in constant st state of change. Nothing is constant, nothing is permanent. Um, everything is liable to change. It's because of the process of time. The Earth revolves around the Sun. The galaxy rotates around itself. The Earth rotates once every 24 hours. Mountains are weathered by the elements, the oceans erode the coastline. Everything's constantly changing. The universe is a dynamic, ongoing process. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Um, unless you wrote it for a, on a more personal and specific uh, um, impulse. Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, I got this sound up <laughs> and I really liked it and I just thought that that would be a really cool something in a song and I'd never heard anyone use that particular type of sound before. And um, then I thought about bells ringing, church bells and people in autumn and leaves blowing and changes of the season and people coming and people going and so I hope when we do the video we can incorporate some of that I also thought about past lives I don't know if I believe in past lives I certainly have a lot of past lives in this life but and a lot of um, different people that I've been or I can be and so I think that'll also end up in the video oh yeah <laughs> oh play the guitar solo for a second this is just we sent this track off to Ben and of course waiting anxiously for him to come back with something. That was just the link lead which feels almost shamanic and I don't know how it's very powerful and then at the end he did this thing that he called the something Zappa lead he always Ben always names his leads uh, like the Spongebob lead or the this or that lead but this one was kind of the um, twisted Zappa S <laughs> A 
Where's one? Where is one? Who, who did that keyboard part that's in uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, and three over the four? Was that you or is that me? I'm sure it was me, but... Um... Yeah, I think it was you. I think Nick did that keyboard. We never know who did what part a lot of time. Um, we tend to do kind of similar things sometimes. What came between us? Will it matter? In a year or more like leaves we scatter. All I know. some vibey thing down there and then he put the keyboard part I don't know if the vibes are even still there again this process oh they are there's they're the vibes that I put down and uh, he it's put very the, minimalist, eh? yeah I, I'd like to have a mix with just the vibes <laughs> not really The rhythm at the end is is a lot more um, is nebulous. Let's just put it that way. It just kind of you're swimming through it, as opposed to really feeling that four on the floor, or really feeling a strong one, two, three, four. The tyranny of four, which we've talked about before. Yeah, you can literally you can relate to one anywhere you want and successfully count your way through it, whatever. Time you want. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and you're on. 